When the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, that's amore. And you're watching Greg TV. And you're watching Greg TV. Is the juice worth the squeeze? It's a show where I apply the five S's, your sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. So in order to find out if the juice is worth the squeeze, you have to have an action plan. Action plan. So today's action plan on taking this table and making it what you see in the making of one of my next videos, how to make a mold of a respirator, you have to pour a lot of these chemicals outside. Is the juice worth the squeeze of making a table that I can build and do stuff in all my lessons on outside? I start with my saws and then I realized my saw didn't work so I had to go buy a second saw. So then I was like, I can't just have a crappy table with no logos or branding because that's not us. I was like, I gotta do some cool painting stuff on here. So I needed to sand it first in order to do that, which I already had the sander. Maybe just needed a couple extra sanding pads. So then from there, after I sand this, this whole entire thing down, sand it again, did a couple different grits, two to be exact. I put my base coat paint on and I got paint and primer in one instead of buying primer and paint. So then after I got finished sanding it and I put my base coat on, I let it dry, put another coat on and then I had to tape it off to give this cool V effect that you see in all of our studio shots. Just so I could have that same shot somewhere in this camera frame. So after I tape it off, my wife did an awesome job because I was trying to get it done fast. She said no. You invested a lot of time into this, you're not cutting corners. So she tagged in and did some fine line stuff. At the end of it, I know I'm gonna be working on this stuff, so I had to put a logo right here. And that was probably the funnest part to do. I had to make a cool stencil and then I laid it out, I painted over it, and then I peeled it off. So then, as I sorted things out, I set them in order in a row. I put all my tools in a row, in the order that I'm gonna use them. And then I kept my work area clean by making sure it was shined so I didn't use the wrong tools. And then this whole thing was an effort to standardize all of these shots, right? Does it look good? Plantasaurus, do you like this table? At the end of the day, I found out the juice was worth the squeeze because I acted these five S's and I improved something that is gonna be here for the next time. So now I'm not gonna have to invest that time again. It was a one-shot deal and now I can have standardized shots to bring you our awesome lessons to follow our standard format. Right here from home. So we found out the juice was definitely worth the squeeze because we lose no momentum even under full quarantine. And we get this standard shot that can bring in you sweet, fancy new lessons like is the juice worth the squeeze? We found out it totally is. If you have some ideas of is your juice worth the squeeze and you want to run it by us, just send us a note to info at tpomfg.com or go to fancynewguy.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fancy New Guy. That's all today from your fancy new guy, Greg Serio, and I hope, hope that you're staying inside and giving awesome high fives and hashtag wash your hands. I know you don't have hands plants of stores, but you can still wash your paws. We've been through this. That's why you had to sit in quarantine and you couldn't be in my last video. I'm Greg Serio, a father, a husband, and a CEO of the people of manufacturing, and also the fancy new guy. What's up world? It's your fancy new guy here, Greg Serio, with a brand new lesson from Quarantine 
On today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to 3D print your own respirator mask. And why? I only have one mask and I got a family of four, so I got some problems. And I can't find these anywhere because I went to the millennial dad, Google, where you can ask it anything without being judged. And it told me that they're all out of stock. According to Wired.com, pre-corona usage of these masks is about 1.5 billion every year here in America. After this pandemic's over, it's going to demand about over 4 billion masks, which is over three times the annual usage, so someone's got to make those. So that's why you hear about all these big manufacturers, GM, they're supposed to, well, they're supposed to make cars, not respirators. So we had what one of my close friends calls this aha moment. And I was like, aha, we can print our own masks. Google Dad, where do I find a model to 3D print? And Google Dad brought me to grabcad.com. Just what I was looking for, because all I did in the little search bar, because I was kind of panicked, I was like, oh my God, what, what, what are they called, what are they called? Oh yeah, virus mask? And it worked, because it gave me a ton of options. This one was actually called virus mask. So I downloaded the file, because it's open source, meaning it's free and I can do whatever I want with it, and the license has given me to do that, to talk to you about it. We're not selling you this, we're just telling you how to do it. That's open source. And they have millions of open source drawings on there that help other engineers and other tinkerers and builders and, and people in general get what they need faster. Because if it's open source, they've already done 80% of the work for you. I didn't have to make this model from scratch. And after that, I already had my Ultimaker S5 set up at home with a network. And that came from our friend Roy at Ultimate 3D Print Store. So our goal was just to make one prototype and then figure out during that time period, what's the best way to replicate this and make a mold? So we figured we'd focus with this end in mind of making our first mask. We made it, we proved it worked. And it actually works, it's functional. It ain't pretty, but it works. So here's a quick recap of how to make your own 3D printed respirator mask. First, you just go to your Google Dad, Google Open Source, or go to grabcad.com, that's who we like. You don't have to, but grabcad.com has a pretty good library of this kind of stuff. And then your next step is to make sure you have any kind of 3D printer. And if you need a 3D printer, then you can hit up our friends over at Ultimate 3D Print Store. That's ultimate3dprint.com. Purchase your own, they have a wide variety. And then you just download, upload, print. So it's, it's pretty easy, and if you have specific questions, you're more than welcome to reach out to us and see how to do it. And we'd love to help you because right now is an important time in our history to share information of best practices on how we can work together, how we can solve this problem together while we're safe within our own homes. So that being said, in the wise words of Ryan Reynolds in every hashtag I've seen, hashtag wash your hands. You probably ran out of things to watch on Netflix, so we have awesome content too at FancyNewGuy.com. And make sure you keep an eye out on our next lesson where we're gonna show you how to make a mold to mass replicate these to actually solve your problem for you and your family. Cause that's what we're doing in real time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Fancy New Guy. And that's FancyNewGuy.com. Plantasaurus, I miss you. And you're watching Greg TV. And you're watching Greg TV. And you're watching Greg TV. And I'm here in safe quarantine with my co-host, Plantasaurus. And he got wings. Not because he drank Red Bull, but because of his spirit. He's got American flag wings. And just like Plantasaurus, America will fly again together.
We have this exciting new program for Vanilla's Counter that we're bringing for our kids, and this is an opportunity that they never had before, so we want them to be able to compete in robotics here in Vanilla's County. Greg, tell us some more about that. What inspires you? It's a question that I like to ask to a lot of people that we work with, and especially someone near and dear to me like Calvin Brown from the Pinellas County Urban League here in Pinellas County, Florida. He does so much for this community, he works with us, and the Urban League in general does a lot for people of need and people that have extreme needs. Well, in our community, our kids, we want to make sure that they're ready for the workforce of the future. So it's not just a robot, it's an opportunity for enter, so they're able to learn the skills that they're going to need in order to compete on a global scale. And this competition platform could easily provide the talent needed for this entire county. This is a platform that we're building for industry to get plugged in, involved, and start building their talent pipeline. So they have an opportunity to, to make a sustainable living and move their families out of poverty by learning these skills at an early age. And every time I've ever shown a kid a robot, I get this. <laughs> Tons of smiles, infinite smiles some may say. What do you think the long-term effect is going to be of our robotics league? Well, look at it from a simple standpoint. This is the all-inclusive league. This is an opportunity to keep kids from making bad decisions. If they have something that they can focus on and have somewhere they can go to to compete, that keeps them off of the streets, that keeps them out of trouble, and it keeps them doing better in school. So we need mentors, we need sponsors, and to get plugged in, visit pcul.org. That's pcul.org. Find the red buttons that say donate and get plugged in. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. We definitely appreciate your time. I want to give you guys out there in TV land a high five. Give my partner here a high five, and we'll see you guys on the playing field. For anyone else out there interested in telling us your inspiring story and telling us what inspires you, please contact us at info at tpomfg.com or just go to our website fancynewguy.com and of course you can always find us on social media like Facebook at Fancy New Guy as well as don't forever ever ever forget YouTube, like, subscribe and please share these messages of inspiration and positivity. That's it from your fancy new guy on what inspires you. <laughs> it's still recording. I see the red. Oh, another plane. <laughs> Let's try. That's a doctor. I hate when I start a new job and I don't have a training manual to teach me how to do my job. Or maybe that's why I've had so many new jobs because I just think I'm good at it because no one told me otherwise. Thankfully, I found a fancy new company to show my boss that maybe they can hire to build a training manual to help build my confidence. Are you looking for a custom training manual on your machines to make sure your fancy new guys always make the parts right? Whoa! Look no further. I'm Greg Serio with the People of Manufacturing and we understand the most valuable thing in your company, your people. With effective training comes safety. Doesn't everyone want to be safe? How can we help your employees be more safe, happier, and give them a training manual that they can actually use and understand? That's why we exist, because we are here for you. Whoa! And with happy employees, you can expect higher production numbers. I didn't think about that. Reduced downtime, I can see that. Increased employee retention, I would love to stay here if there was a better training manual. Reduced turnover, I don't want to leave, but I will. And continuous improvement, always trying to better myself. If I knew how, do you want to experience all these benefits for you or maybe you have an on-the-job injury that you want to fix and you want to make sure it doesn't happen again? You can start by going to our website, thepeopleofmanufacturing.com or contact us directly at info at tpomfg.com. Thepeopleofmanufacturing.com. See you there.